Hello, TSA. This is Ollie. He is an octopus. Ollie has a special skill he wants to show you. Go ahead, Ollie! Isn't that amazing? Only cephalopods can do this. A cephalopod is a mollusk-like sea animal without a shell and arms attached to their heads. In this video, Ollie and I will teach you about how cephalopods can change their color and texture in seconds, and what this has to do with modern science and technology. So you're probably wondering, how is he able to do this? To show you, we need to look at the cells in Ollie's skin closely to see what is happening. Sorry, Ollie. This may hurt just a bit. See those moving dots in Ollie's skin? Those cells are called chromatophores. They change colors and reflect light. A set of cells expands and contracts these chromatophores. When a sac expands, that color becomes visible. Some cephalopods also have iridophores and lucifores. Iridophores create lustrous greens, blues, silvers, and golds by using stacks of reflective plates. Lucifores act as a mirror to reflect the colors of the environment, just like Ollie is doing right now. These cells help cephalopods avoid predators. Ollie also has very unique arms. They utilize structure known as a muscular hydrostat. This means there is no skeletal support for the muscles to build off of. It works in the same way a human tongue does. The muscular hydrostats change shape by squeezing some segments to extend others. When Ollie changes his texture, he controls the size of the projections of his skin, known as papillae, to match his surroundings. To do this, one set of muscles lifts the skin away from the body, Another set pulls it together to shape it, and the final set spreads out the raised section. Ollie's skills are more than just a visual spectacle. By observing cephalopods, a team of researchers has now created a flexible material that can change its texture and color by remote control. These materials will be valuable to the military for uniforms and machinery to make soldiers virtually invisible. Additionally, researching the muscles of a cephalopod will hopefully lead to a breakthrough in medicine regarding diseases such as Parkinson's, which affect a person's ability to speak. Even now, scientists cannot match the skills of Ollie. His abilities have inspired several scientific findings spreading all fields of technology. Unfortunately for now, Ollie and I must bid TSA farewell. Goodbye!